Hey, my name is Jesus Castello from rubyguides.com and in this video we're going to talk about a very fundamental topic which is Ruby conditionals and more specifically I want to show you how to use ternary operators and we will see what's that in a moment. So first of all Let's take a look at this code I have on the screen. And here I have a simple variable, bacon price equals 100, and then an if else statement. So it is saying if the, the price of the bacon, so the value of this variable, is less than 200, then buy lots of bacon. But else, so meaning if this is not true, so if the price is higher than 200 or equal to 200, then we're going to print this, which says wait until bacon is on sale again. <laughs> so we get the steal. Okay. So that's our condition. Now with if else conditions, what you can do is to shorten them. You can shorten them using something called a ternary operator. So what does a ternary operator look like? Well, it's something like this. So what does this mean? Well, first is the condition. So what's the condition? The condition is this. The condition says, is this true or false? The condition is the thing we are checking. So we will replace this like that. That's what you do. Then true and false. What does that mean? Where true is what happens if this condition is true. In this case, we're going to print by lots of bacon. But I'm going to do something slightly different. And I'm only going to copy the string. What's false? Well, false is what happens when the condition is false. So in other words, it's the else branch of our conditional. So again, I'm going to copy the string and put it like that. And what happens now is that this running, it checks if this is true or false. If this is true, then it will return this string. And if this is false, it will return this other string. That's how a ternary operator works. So now to complete this, we need to also print the string because that's what we are doing here. We are puts, which means we are printing the string on the screen. So now I can run this. And what's going to happen is that we get the buy lots of bacon twice. Why twice? Because we have it here and we have it here. Now if I remove this code, delete, and I run this, we get it only once. And you can see it's the same effect as with the if else statement. So this is what we call a ternary operator. I can be useful if you want to shorten your if else statements and put them in a single line. And if I change the value, you can see that this works correctly as expected. So I hope you found this useful. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and to help me grow the channel so more people can see those videos. Thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate you taking the time for watching this video and improving your Ruby skills.